5G promises faster speeds, less lag when connecting to the network, and the ability to connect many devices to the internet without bogging it down. In the future, it could also connect self-driving cars and fuel new applications in telemedicine and virtual reality, essentially making what is already possible on our wireless devices better and faster. 5G is really just going to be doing the things we do today a little bit better. So what you can do on 4G and what you can do on Wi-Fi will get better because you'll have slightly faster speeds, a lot more capacity, so when there's lots of people and it's difficult to use data, that situation will improve. And over time, as the 5G standards evolve, you will get to the point where we'll have this thing called lower latency, which is basically how fast your data is traveling back and forward from the internet. And that is going to be important for some of the really interesting applications, like something as simple as a, a self-driving car. Before we can all use 5G, however, wireless companies and phone makers have to upgrade. Phones need new chips and radio antennas. And wireless companies have to revamp their network equipment and install new antennas on cell phone towers and utility poles. But 5G is controversial. Some people believe the electromagnetic radiation emitted by devices such as cell phones can cause illnesses, including cancer. The World Health Organization, however, says no adverse health effect has been causally linked with exposure to wireless technologies. Meanwhile, on a geopolitical scale, the technology is also one front in rising tensions between the U.S. and China. Washington is lobbying its allies to exclude Chinese telecoms company Huawei from planned next-generation networks, citing national security risks. Huawei denies U.S. accusations that it might facilitate Chinese spying.